Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to show you two drone flutes and a bonus third drone flute. Um, and the reason I bring these up is I want to talk about the differences in keys, octave groups as well, um, and what you like. I get a lot of questions on, Johnny, what's, what, what flute are they playing? What key is this in? I really love that sound. Where can I get a flute like this? And a lot of times that ends up being too big for your hands. So I want to kind of do a size comparison to kind of educate you on what the size of these flutes looks like compared side by side. And also the uh, how they sound, of course. And, and there's some other little things thrown in. So I hope you'll stay tuned. I want to um, share these things with you so you can make the best decision on adding a flute to your collection. I'm gonna start with the lowest one here, the one that everybody kind of goes gaga over when they hear the sound of. Um, and it's kind of a kind of an odd looking flute. Um, it is one that's a little unique. Um, okay, I'll just show it to you. So this is a drone flute made by Cousin Bruce. I actually got this from a, a friend um, who was rehoming it. And this is in the key of A. Something different right out of the gate about this is you're like, that just looks like a two by four. Like what is going on here? So maybe partly experimental, but has a beautiful tone. And that's really the thing that's most important. That's what you hear and feel in the recordings. Um, it's not what you see. So um, everything is different about this flute. So you may not have a flute like this, but let's just talk about the key of this flute. So when I play this flute, the sound holes are backwards. This is a thumb rest to help hold the flute. And the holes are on the opposite side. Theoretically, they should be over here on this side. Uh, but this actually, let's, let's sidebar here. This is a great flute for playing in an environment where you need to be quiet, not only by the key of it, but because the sound holes are coming to you, and not projecting this way, it softens the sound for the audience. Or, you know, if you're bedside playing for someone, that's also another great benefit is that it's softened in that environment. So let's look at this monstrous two by four and how it sounds. Just like in other drone flutes, I have two, um, two embouchure holes, two sound holes, two barrels you can see at the end here this flute by the way is made by cousin bruce um and uh it's k-u-z-i-n is how he spells it i've known him for a long time back when he was in florida doing the powwow circuit and i crossed paths with him as a young flute player so let's let's hear how it sounds <laughs> getting a little bit of a stretch here um, just in that those last even though these holes are kind of ergonomically placed for a right-handed flute player which I am right-handed flute player means you play the right hand on bottom left-handed flute player means you play left hand on bottom usually it's your dominant hand doesn't always have to be that way I have a friend who is right-handed but plays left-handed so Let's take a look, the next one, probably the more common key flute, drone flute that I recommend is also in the key of A, but it's an octave above. So look at the size difference here. Um, there is almost no comparison between the sizes here. Um, so the low A drone and the mid A. So mid A, like what I start a lot of students on, like if you're in the beginning of your journey course, start you out on a mid A flute and you can graduate to a lower key flute once you get the hang of it, both by feeling um, dexterity and agility and also breath support, then we can move to a little bit larger flute. So 
size wise, there's a lot of difference here. So let's hear the sound difference, which by the way, this is a uh, flute made by Ray Wood Island Flutes. Um, it's made out of walnut and uh, it's also in the key of A. So I'll play a uh, single flute first. something ringing in my room. Maybe there's a sound bowl that got activated. So I, I show you these two, but I, I want to show you something in between uh, because a lot of people are like, yeah, I like, I love the key of the, I love the sound of the low flute. The high one's just not quite doing it for me. So what's a good in between? Usually when I'm faced with this, when someone brings this to me, I really love this sound, but I know I can't handle it. I know you say this is a better flute for me, but I just, that key is just not really resonating with me. It's just a little too high. Let's go middle of the road. So typically I'll recommend a flute in the key of E or D. So it kind of gets placed in the middle. So this is a drone flute in the key of D. This one's made by Dustin Selva of Elemental Flutes. Um, and this one is also made from walnut. So let me see if I can bring these up and we can just kind of do a quick size comparison. People have also asked me, because it's hard to tell in videos, Johnny, how tall are you? And I often ask this question too when someone's buying a flute. And I know it seems like a weird question, but it's relevant. Um, so I'm 5'9", 5'10", if I've got shoes on. Um, and that also kind of gives me an idea of what your arm length and hands might be. Um, ring size is another thing that I'll consider if I'm trying to fit you to a flute. Um, and that just tells me kind of how big your fingers are and maybe what your stretch might be. So if I ever ask you that question, it's not because I'm nosy or weird. It's because I have a reason. So let's set these guys up next to each other from the foot end because it'd be hard to do the other way. So you can see here just the differences in them. Now the A is a little unfair advantage because it is made like an easy reach flute um, in that it doesn't have a slow air chamber. We go directly into the sound holes like a whistle. So if it were a regular drone A flute, it would have a few more inches on it for the block and the slow air chamber. So let's take a listen to what this D flute uh, sounds like next to these other ones. So here's the D. I'll play it as a solo, or a single flute, I mean. With the drone. Got a little lost in that one, uh, but good. So that one's made from uh, Walnut by Dustin Selva of Elemental Flutes. If you're interested in a flute like that, um, you can look in the description below. I've got a little incentive for you, thanks to Dustin uh, at Elemental Flutes. Um, if you have questions about drone flutes, here are a couple things to consider. One, you're welcome to drop comments below. We'll come through and answer those as best we can. Um, if you're looking for a specific feedback on buying a drone flute, you're looking at a drone flute, whatever the case, a couple of options here. One, you can reach out uh, via email and we'll do the best we can to help you. 
but two inside of our membership um, called Horizons Plus. Uh, we have a thriving membership full of growing flute players who are playing all sorts of different uh, styles of flutes. There's an opportunity for you to be engaged with a community. So it's like a social media platform, but just for members. And they've been really good about helping others kind of pointing in the right direction to get feedback on purchasing the next flute. I'm very engaged in that community as well. We have lots of live content, Q&A sessions uh, on Zoom, flute circles, uh, monthly workshops, lesson modules, courses, all sorts of really cool things if you're looking to uh, expand, learn, and grow as a flute player. I welcome you. I'll leave some information on that in the description below. We have lots of happy flute players there who are helping one another. It's really about that community and helping them grow. Today's video was um, an effort to help you make better decisions on adding a flute to your collection. Um, and looking at different keys and sizes and just to kind of give you a little bit more information to go from and maybe start asking better questions when you're looking to add a flute to your collection. By any means, I hope that it's been helpful and if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or through my website, johnnylipfordmusic.com or horizonsfluteschool.com. Thanks so much and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Take care.